I'm from Kilkenny. I grew up in the east of Kilkenny, just outside the city, from a farming background. So my dad's a farmer and we're definitely impacted by all of the, the severe cuts against small and part-time farmers. I guess I got into politics from an early age. At the time, I didn't realise that it was political, but it was largely through volunteering with youth groups and youth activism. I learned so much, but also I learned to question so much. So I went to college in Carlow. I studied to be a community worker and I specialised in citizenship. And as a result, I found myself getting more and more involved with social movements. I think change is possible because we're witnessing it every day. People have power. We witnessed that with, with the momentum of repeal. That was a that was a landmark moment, especially for the constituency of Carlow and Kilkenny. It was such a vibrant campaign and we witnessed historic change through that time. We want sustainable, affordable housing that is accessible to all people. The Kilkenny County Council monthly report for May showed 29 people presenting as homeless, which is a 60% increase in the previous month. There are so many people who are being squeezed in Kilkenny. We want to introduce rent caps. We want to introduce sustainable, affordable social housing for all. We also need to understand the realities of people who are affected by overcrowding in hospitals. Healthcare is a serious issue and it's an issue that the government is failing us on. I want to provide a platform and represent and fight for the rights of people with disabilities, of women and for anti-austerity measures. In continuing to fight for the needs of all people in Kilkenny, this includes a strong stance against racism. There is potential for an alternative Ireland and I really hope that you can give me a number one in the upcoming elections in May.